What's up guys? Just about to start some work on my new bike. <clears throat> Hoping to convert it into a, a cafe racer. Um, it's quite dark in here. Need some light. Um, this is the bike. A 125 Suzuki GN. got it into the shed <coughs> no battery for it so I'm using one off my old bike it's far too big for it will not fit in there but it's not gonna be on the bike anyway and um, yeah it's a 53 reg Suzuki GN so yeah let's see if we can kick it up I've had to walk it from the granddad's which is about a mile and a half away so I'm going to be fitting my battery, obviously it doesn't actually fit so I'm holding it in, this bike hasn't run for a while so we're hoping, so yeah, I had to push it here, <coughs> turn in the key, it's the neutral on its stand, let's go, so far nothing. So far, as you can see, the tire does spin, <coughs> so start them up as well. They're going to assume there's a fault, and now we've got to locate it. I'm going to test the spark plug, see if that's going. I'm getting cramp. Yes, it's a small shed. So let's try that now. Finger. It's a finger job. Eventually getting it out. Looking at that. Focus. Why won't you focus? Yeah, you can see it. Definitely needs replacing, but just because of how black it is. Oh, let's see if we can generate a spark. So yeah, to get a spark, connect the spark plug up to the HT lead. Then you want to place it just on the fin of the engine and start the bike like normal. And fingers crossed, we'll get a spark. Find out. Let's 
see. Here we go. Yeah, quite clearly see there. <coughs> I'll probably do a, doing a compression test as well. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that compresses. So yeah, we can see that the spark plug is working. It's creating a spark, so that's not a problem. Show you again. Smell fuel, so something's happening. Just got to look into it further. So as we know that we can't get the bike running just yet, may as well begin on stripping the bike down, taking away the parts that I'm not going to need, parts that <coughs> will need painting, changing, fixing. So yeah, let's crack on with that. off now. They're decent seats these aren't they? I suppose they are made for comfort, not for looks, unlike what this would be when it turns into a cafe racer. All the cables. Wow. That's pretty short as it is isn't it? <coughs> I'm thinking Typical cafe racer seat. I mean, obviously, get rid of <coughs> that mud guard. But just looking at it, yeah, cut that off at the bar going around. Yeah, don't see why that won't work. Also, look at the conditions I'm in. It's just a triangle roofed shed. And my head, I stand right in the middle, just about touches, go any further. It. So expect to see a lot of meeting myself. Anyway, let's crack on. I think I may have just found an easy way of taking that off. I just feeding them through, disconnecting that, feeding them through, and then it just stays onto the mud guard. And then I take that off as a whole. None of these nuts or bolts are playing today. Um, I'm still learning, so forgive any stupid stuff I do. Now, well, let's crack on. Get in there. Oh, that frame. 
and if about no yeah about there cut off loop progress is being made <coughs> yeah so I think I'm gonna leave this here for now um, I'm gonna try I can't even get my head in with six foot three so there we go um, yeah, I'm gonna start working on my carburetor now and um, I've had my bit of fun dismantling it um, progress is gonna be slow on this um, until I can get a bit more free time but you know stay tuned it will be completed um, so yeah subscribe if you like what you see you know if you want to carry on with the build with me and I'll see you in the next one